Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of, of Yoshi Unleashed with Yoshitatsu. Today is me, Sean, along with Yoshitatsu in Japan. Yes. Yoshi, it's been like how how long now? It's been what? How 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 long how long has it been since the last time we recorded this show? Right, two months. Jesus, man, man, I I, I can't believe how long that was. Mm. But yeah, a lot has happened the last two months. You've been so yeah. busy. I got I I had family stuff that I got to attend to, and and Lee has been absolutely busy, and we can't get everyone together. So, yeah. you know, a lot of the times will be me and Yoshi going to be uh, on this show. So, mm. cut to the chase. Uh, something unexpected happened the last several days. And um, someone that you have good knowledge of, a, a wrestling legend in its own right. Um, yep. Yutaka Yoshi died after... His match in All Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Um. The most the, the one time that I really really remember, uh, Yutaka Yoshi was when he was in New Japan, and mm. he formed the GX with uh Nakanishi, with with Nagata, and Brian mm. Johnston. So you know it yeah. was a it it was a pretty big group at the time. You you weren't even you, you weren't even in in New Japan yet at the time. I don't I, I don't think right. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I belong to two thousand on two thousand two. Right. Uh, I think GX. I think nineteen ninety nine or two thousand. Yeah, yeah. That's why I thought it was somewhere around that. Mm. And I think it was um. The group was very interesting. Yeah. You know, to this day, I still didn't get what exactly was GX. I still remember that they had the the t shirts with like an egg and like your know, crack egg with like you know all the cartoony faces on the t shirts, and I thought that that was pretty mm. fun. Um, mm. but um, you know, I think after that, eventually he just kind of faded out of the New Japan spotlight. Yeah. Um, he, I mean, he was, he was a tag team champion at one point, I the GP, uh, tag team champion, but, mm. you know, he was more or less eventually not, you know, not associating with, with New Japan, uh, and he was more or less like a freelancer to, to mm. most companies, right? Um, yeah. your memory of, of, uh, Yutaka Yoshi has to be when he, when you both were in all Japan, I would assume. Yeah, I yeah I had a match uh with him a couple of times, but the my biggest memory of uh, Yoshia san of all Japan match is um I think um, December twentieth, two thousand twenty, hmm. something 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 like that. Uh, Nakanishi sans Nakanishi is uh, all Japan's last match. Yeah, uh, that match is uh, Akiyama, Nakanishi, Yoshie, and Nishimura against me, uh, Tajiri. Who else? You. Uh, no, I. And Tajiri and uh, uh, two more guys, the eight man tag. The it was, it, it, it was Nishimura, right? Uh, Akiyama, Nakanishi, yeah. Nishimura, and Yoshie. Yeah. Oh, it was an eight man tag. My bad. My bad. Yeah. I, Tajiri, uh, somebody else, two guys. I need. I need to go back and check on that match. Yeah, 2020. Okay, let's see. Nakanis, she's lost much of all Japan. Ooh. 
really have to check that. Well, before we we um we 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 talk about we we talk further about about that particular match. Did the mm. Japanese media found out uh the cause of death for uh Yoshia? Uh uh what what should I say in English? But kinda uh kinda heart attack. Okay. So it was so it was a form of heart attack. Mm, uh I will check again. Yeah. It's it's difficult. Like yeah. uh Hospital English, something like that. <laughs> okay. Disease, what, something. Was, oh, oh, so he actually got some form of heart disease. No, listen. Can you read? Arteriosclerosis. Ah, okay. So, so basically, the um, I think you know, I'm not a doctor, but you know, I think what it was was. His his uh arteries became mm. hardened and and you know that that's that's how he died I would assume. Mm. But fifty years old, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there are, you know, a lot of there are less wrestlers, you know, in comparison to to say for example the nineties or whatever that that you know that died earlier. But you know, yeah. fifty is still relatively pretty young, I would imagine. Mm. Mm. I mean, you know, it, it it's it's such a shame as well because you know, he he was a pretty good wrestler, and and you know he was, um, you know, to be able to be in New Japan at that time and be able to win, you know, any form of championship because you know at the time there were only three championships mm. so you know that tells something about him mm. so you know your personal relationship with with yoshia how, how was he like yeah he's very nice person i like him mm. yeah i drank with him a couple times yeah i thought yeah, you quit he's... i thought you quit drinking no Long time ago, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm yeah. Keep stop drinking. Good. So next time I see you, I don't have to get like you know, bring like a gigantic bottle of alcohol and go here you go. Just make sure next yeah, time you, you come to China, you get me some cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Try sure, yellow wine, you know. Oh, all the yellow wine, right? Yeah. 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 Got a little story to tell after this. Uh, Yoshia is very fun guy. Mm. Yeah, very he nice. Seemed to, yeah. He, he seemed to be a very happy go lucky kind of guy. Not, not. Yeah, you know, a, a lot of fun to be around and things. You know, from what I've been told. Yeah, very good person. I like him. Very fun. Uh, when we drink, he's very fun. Hmm. Mm. I mean, I mean, all Japan did a ceremony for him. Um, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, and and you know, I think a lot of fans were still in shock about um what happened because it yeah. was, because it was after the match, and he started mm. not feeling well, and that's when he went to the hospital. Yeah. So. Yeah, right after the match uh, in the local room. Then, yeah, yeah, he fell down. He actually fell down instead of like not, you know, like telling people like he wasn't feeling well and stuff. I I think so. So, yeah, I think that that had to shock a lot of people like backstage. Yeah, backstage was some something he, like this happened. Yeah, so he like how should I say unconsciousness? Yeah. Oh, like, oh you fell unconscious? Yeah, in, wow. in the local room. Yeah. 
then they call ambulance. Yeah. Then go to hospital. I I know Nagata sound was quite um uh, distraught, you know, yeah. after what happened because I I I'm sure you know they they were at one point they were in the same team. And you know there had to be at least some form of a friendship. Mm. So you know he he made the post right away, and and you know. I mean, I mean you know pretty much. From the GX now, you know from that mm. time, Nakanishi is retired. Yeah. Um. I think he, I think he's working in a a gas station or something, right? Yeah, wow. Well, how you know? Oh, I, I saw I saw an article about it. Yeah. Um okay. everybody um, knows. Me. Yeah. But you you know, ima imagine driving driving to, to a gas station and you see this big guy. Yeah. That that will shock you and like, you know, if it was me, I'll go, Can I get your autograph? Mm. <laughs> because yeah. you know, because me being me, right? But um um but but you know, Brian Johnston obviously also passed away. Yeah. So, you know, the only active wrestler out of the entire GX mm. is Nagata Sound. Is, that's it. It's just him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, man, you know, thinking about it, it's just, you yeah. know, how, how things are different to different people, you know, when, when, they were all in the stable and stuff like that. That's just, whew. yeah. That 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 is sad, unfortunate. Yes. Yeah, mm. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't. I can't. I can't deal with this stuff. You know, it's it's you know, it's the first show back. You know, after two months, so you know, uh, and and I don't mean no disrespect to to, uh, Yutaka Yoshida. It's just you know, but you know, uh, we we hope that Yoshida's family is you know, you know, are okay dealing with this situation. It's not a pleasant situation for anybody. Yeah, and and you know, we 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 hope, uh, Yoshida rest. You know happy you know where wherever he is you know mm. in in whichever religion you are mm. now what? let's move on let's move on let's move oh, on yeah. to um another japanese wrestler oh yeah and you know this one you you are quite familiar with and that's uh cuz uh cuz okada yeah he, you, you were telling me that he was going to WWE. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah, and then and then all of a sudden, there you go, boom! He showed up in all Japan, uh, um, AEW, along with with um Will Osprey, who showed up, you know, a little while before him, and yeah. you know, someone was saying that that, um. I think it's last year's Wrestle Kingdom's headliner. Yeah, last mm -hmm. year's Wrestle Kingdom headliner. Basically, every single one of them assigned with yeah. AEW now. Mm. So you know that that's just within a year. Mm. And and what is your opinion about Okada going to AEW? Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, you know, the Japanese most famous sports is baseball. Mm. The top player is like uh, about six million dollars a year. Mm. They they earn. Mm. The Okada is uh, mostly same. So, mm. like, top athlete of Japan. Okay. So, how should I say? Uh, Okada, so, up the wrestling to the, like, uh, major sports in Japan, mm. you okay. know? 
Yeah. Yeah. Like top salary. So, yeah, that's a good thing. I heard a couple of rumors. And yeah. I don't know if they're true or not. Maybe maybe you have heard something as well. Um apparently the reason for for Tony Khan picking up all of these uh AEW wrestlers mm. were because uh New Japan was having some some kind of a financial situation. Mm. And and there is also another rumor that is talking about Tony Khan has secretly pay mm. New Japan some money to keep New Japan going. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, that, that's a I... rumor. I, I'm not saying that that that's the, cl- that's the case. It's just allegedly that that's what it is. Mm. So, you know, and, and also that there was another rumor that, that came out saying Okada was getting what was it 13.5 million dollars for three years no i don't think so yeah that 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 was a rumor killer uh killer afterwards and saying that that it wasn't the case but from uh people who know the situation have said that okada got paid more than he got in new japan yeah, yeah, that's good. You, but I think do you think do rumor. you think though? Do you think WWE lost in this one? Like you know, to them not signing Okada is it a loss to them? You think? I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, if Okada goes to WWE. He can't be a big star, I think. Hmm. Well, he can he can speak uh, uh very well English. Yeah, I don't know. Just just I feel. Hmm. I, I think I, good good is good decision hmm. to go to AW. And uh, I think their money is hmm. I think bigger than WWE, so it's yeah. good though. Yeah, Ray Maker. And, and 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 not and not only that, his family don't have to live in the U.S. Yeah, the, so the, Tony the can't just fly him in, like you know, and and that's something I don't get. Like I really don't get this. Is that why you're signing someone to your company, which you're based in the U.S. Mm. But you you are okay with them staying in their home country and go. Hey, you got to be on this show today, so you know uh, we we're, we're flying you in. It's the same thing with Will Osprey. Same thing mm. with Pac. Most okay. likely the same thing with Ibushi. Oh really? Yeah, and 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 now Okada. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean that that's like absolutely unheard of. I have not heard of any wrestling company that is signing anyone to a long term deal that go, Oh, um yeah, you 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 come you come in and do T V for a day or two, maybe a week, and then you're going home you you we're flying you home the next week. Like un- unless you yeah. were gaijin back in the day in yeah. In uh, say New Japan and all Japan and stuff, you do a tour and then you go home and all that. Yeah, it, that's, cra- that, that's crazy. Imagine the cost, hmm. like you know, for for all of these talents. Yeah, dream job, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's good, much better than WWE. Yeah. Maybe maybe I should push you to to maybe I should push you to to try to get you signed with with AEW. <laughs> yeah, I think most wrestlers sign AEW. I think. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but but the problem is, are they going to be making any money out of that? 
Mm. Because the rating, the rating shows that the Okada's debut is not really doing them any great numbers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, say, say Okada cost, I don't know, one and a half million a year. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not saying for sure that's a steal, but, you know, far from the 4.5 million a year, but, you know, say he is paid 1.5 million. Yeah. But, but, the problem is, you're signing him to this deal, but the TV rating doesn't show it. Yeah, uh, well, it's I, okay. I just, it's okay because because it's Tony Khan's money, right? Yeah, Tony Tony Khan is very rich, so it's okay. No problem. The we, we rating does okay. There, there were there were a couple. Of, people that were talking about this and, and were like, you know, you, you know this is like tax write-off for the cons. So, like, the entire AEW is like, is like a tax write-off for the cons, you know, for, for the 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 Jackson Field Jaguar, uh, Jaguars and, like, all, all these kind of the full uh, um soccer team and stuff. So, you yeah. know, comparing to those, right, AEW is a tiny little bit of money, so... We'll see what happens, you know. I, I hope that I hope the T V deal continues, you know, after two thousand five. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I hope the rating continue to, to show at the progress of eight hundred thousand people. Mm. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I don't am Yeah. I don't envy at all. What's that? I don't envy. You don't envy at all? At all. For, for what? I don't know. I just fear. So no, many restaurants. Envy. Yeah. You don't envy for what, many though? Japanese restaurants envy Okada. Like jealous? Yeah, like jealous. Many uh, Japanese restaurants jealous of him, but I'm not. Well, you you need to deal with the hugging from Tony Khan. Like like you know the 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 big passionate hug from Tony Khan. Oh yeah, we talk about we talked right. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Like like say for example, if if you know, and and that's a big if, okay. If Tony Khan signs you, and like you know. You know, you you are in public with him and stuff like that, and he suddenly just give you this big passionate hug. How would you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, but if you want, I I will I will do that. <laughs> yeah, like, I I think someone did a meme on that, right? And it was like every single one that that were hugged by him just felt really awkward, like uh, on the pictures. I think one of them was actually Okada. Mm. But I don't know. I mean, uh I mean for, for me to to I mean if if I get signed by Tony Khan and he's like hugging me like that, I'll be like, whoa, dude. Yeah, you 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 need to talk to somebody. Like big time. Yeah. But but you know, hey, you know, I, I'm not a billionaire. So, you know, I don't know how he feels. Maybe maybe that's how he shows love to people. So, mm. But speaking of AEW, Al Snow. Uh, I don't think you have met, right? Have you met Al Snow? I think I met him a couple of times. Yeah. Nice uh, guy. Like Absolutely the... nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. In, yeah. in the shows. I'm shows, yeah. Yeah. Um, he made a statement about AEW, you know, mm. after the, the Darby Allen incident, I would assume. Um yeah. in, in Sting's final match where he you know he did he did this big big move um the coffin drop and landed uh on real glass. Presumably real real glass. You know, I, I can't say for sure. Mm. Um but you know, after after that, 
Al Snow made a statement that he believes someone is going to die inside of an AEW ring. Yeah, but I, uh, I don't think I don't think or, uh, not only AEW, couple of companies, I think. But I think, are, in, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So now there are so many dangerous moves, moves that uh in American India companies. So not only AEW. Many companies has the risk of death of the I mean, wrestlers. I, I, I mean, I know, I know. For one thing, you like to wrestle safe, and and you know, I, I've seen mm. you, I've seen you in matches personally. You know, I mean, you know, I literally got beat up at ringside for it. So you know, I, I know that for a fact. But <laughs> um, but you know, in this environment, especially mm. in AW, you know, you look at the casualties mm. that that have been in AEW ring, the broken ankles, mm. the yeah, the, you know, the 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 amount of blood. I mean, you, you know, you can say, you know, ECW was like that, uh mm. CCW was like that, FMW was yeah. like that. Yeah. But do you do you feel that some wrestling companies or some of the wrestlers are going too far? Yeah, but mm, the AW's the like danger is kind of the different kind of dangerous, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, uh, I don't recommend mm -hmm. dangerous. When I was in WWE, hmm. all, all say, there are all safe moves, but hmm. all is like popped, you know, hmm. where yeah. it was fighting. So, right. uh, yeah, the wrestling doesn't need dangerous moves, hmm. I believe. I, I want you to do a comparison, okay? That yeah. IWA Japan. All right. Hmm. Yeah, CZW, CZW. I don't know if you have followed CZW before. Um, mm. FMW. I'm sure you probably oh. probably did back in back in the hottest days. Um, you know, and and you know all of these um companies that mm. which one are perhaps the most dangerous in comparison to AEW or is AEW more dangerous than any of these companies, you think? I don't know. <laughs> but give her any kind of danger, like a, like a death match, right? CCW. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think AEW is the most dangerous. You think so? Yeah, but the in major company, I mm. think so. But the most dangerous is American indie companies. Mm. As the most most dangerous, I think. But then More they're not. A, they, see, see, the thing is, they're not on national TV, and 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 you know, to be fair, because AEW is on national TV, so they get a lot of heat for some of the, uh, mm. some of the dangerous stuff. Yeah. And, you know, but there's also, you know, there are times where I've seen some wrestlers doing some stuff. Say, prime example, uh, Sammy Guevara, when he was wrestling Jeff Hardy, he, mm. you know, he accidentally, you know, when he was doing the shooting star press and, and, you know, his knee landed on Jeff Hardy's face, already knocked him out. But he yeah. still picked up Jeff Hardy in for his finish and he's like, you know, let's just get over it. Yeah, like you know, you know, and I also blame the referee as well. Like you know, if the referee sees something like this, you gotta stop the damn match. Mm. But you know, it, it's like they're not doing that. So, you know, do you think the the indie wrestling culture has 
has got into AEW so much that reflects on yeah. all the dangerous stuff they do. Mm. Yeah. Just, yeah, like, you know, you don't have anything to say other than that. You you try so hard not you try so hard not to hold back. I know, I can see that yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. Don't try this at home. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Don't <laughs> use. It. Don't need. Dangerous but moves. but but have, has it, have you ever got to a point where that you're worried about the style of wrestling? Yeah, I'm I'm worried too. And and because it's not just that. Have have you realized like you know some of the the smaller territories around the world? I mean, you know, you you've also wrestled, you know outside of the US, outside of Japan, and you see small companies. Um, you know, in China, in 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 Southeast Asia and and you know, all these places. And you see yeah. these kids emulating, copying a lot of the the indie style, so to speak. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's just my opinion, but I think they're the people, fans, mm. Mm. yeah, will die if, uh, like imitate, yeah, uh, then just wrestling moves, right? Yeah, I think so. No wrestlers, I think. But do you think it's a good way to go for it for a lot of these smaller companies to emulate? this style of wrestling and turn it into a culture in in mm. in in a in in their own country or, or their own sort of territory. Mm. No, it's it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. Yeah, you know, try to get out. Try to get it out from you. You know me, but yeah. you know, but you know. Well, and uh, already, already over twenty minutes. Yeah, Wait. already over twenty. Already over twenty minutes. We're gonna switch a little bit, you know, okay. to something that that's a little funny. Did you watch the Oscar? Mm. Did you watch the Oscar? Means like a John Cena. Yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah. What do you think though? You know, be a top WWE star, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, becoming a Hollywood star and have to go on TV like that. Like, you know, if you have that opportunity, would you do that? Um uh first of all. So one Japanese comedian mm. is doing like that. Okay. So I think many Japanese thinks, oh, John Cena imitates from him. Ah, uh, like, okay. But it wa it wasn't because of that. It was because of fifty years before. There was someone yeah. that ran naked on the stage during Oscar, yeah. so you know yeah. they were doing that like as a tribute. Yeah, I read the I read the article, so yeah, I knew I knew today the stories. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I didn't know that, but yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, he's uh, John Cena. John mm. is very smart, mm. so. Yeah, I think the idea was good, mm. and uh, yeah, he got like impact, mm. lots of impact, right? 
Mm. Mm. And uh, he is still still good body. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Good culture. I respect him. Yeah. Mm. He's same age as me. Mm. I know. Yeah. You 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 know what you know what's funny though? I, imagine imagine yeah. like Hall of Fame. Okay. Mm. WWE Hall of Fame. And you were yeah. invited. But you know, you have to turn up naked with a belt covering it. Would you yeah, go? I, I would do that. <laughs> you actually do that. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. If I was chosen WWE Four Famer, <laughs> I would do that. I promise. But but you do know Vince Man is not there anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. Vince left. He he won't come back to WWE, right? Mm. You think so? Um. Uh, well, according to reports, mm. Vince McMahon is actually in deeper shit than he is in. Yeah. Like like you know at this point and. Mm. Yeah, you know, be before we before we even got to Vince, okay? I, I want you I, I want to ask you this question. Mm. Who do you think is a better wrestler turned actor? John Cena or Batista? So you mean which one, right? Yeah. I like both of them. So because we we wrestle the same like our uh, same generation, mm -hmm. yeah, same era we mm. wrestle, yeah. So I know most of guys, mm. John Batista, but mm. I think acting. So acting is a uh, yeah. John is better, I think. Mm. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. I personally I, like Batista more. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he is his acting is a lot more versatile than than oh. Cena because the most of the the Cena stuff are so talking about Oscar. Have you have you watched any of the Oscar? Yeah. So you saw the John Cena bit. Yeah, like uh, almost naked, right? Well, he did have a bodysuit. He did have bodysuit yeah. underneath, so you know to cover it. Yeah, but it it, it looked like he was completely naked. Hmm. So what what do you think of of yeah. Cena doing that uh, during Oscar? So. I didn't know the story of 1947. Yeah. So, academy, academic award, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like 50 years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The naked man go past, right? Yeah. The stage. Hmm. Yeah. So, John imitate. Mm. That that incident, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a yeah. tribute, I guess. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, tribute. Yeah, yeah. It's more. It's more or less mm. like a tribute. But mm. you know, if if you are if you're invited to the Hall of Fame, mm. okay, and mm. they go, you know, you have to go on stage. You know, probably just a belt to cover a certain part. Yeah, you know, they pro they probably give you give you the hardcore title or something, right? Just to like. <laughs> okay. Cover certain part. Would you, yeah. would you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Same thing. All right, Nick Khan, if you're watching this, Triple H, if you're watching this, give Yoshi a call. All right. Skip yeah. me. Skip me. Just straight up call Yoshi for that. I want. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, I'll be like, look at what Yoshi is doing now. Can you believe it? <laughs>
Yeah, I don't care. I expose. You don't care, right? Okay, so you know what? Let's do it even better, okay? Let's open up an OnlyFans account for you. Like we talked about <laughs> this before. Let, let's get you let, let's get you an OnlyFans account. Yeah. It's serious. Yeah, I I can't do that. Why not? No. You you okay you okay to go streaking on 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 the slammy? But yeah. you know, you probably don't get paid much for it. But if you if you got OnlyFans, you know, I mean, look at uh, what was it Mandy Rose? Yeah, she got she got over a million dollars just for <laughs> doing OnlyFans. Okay, I I will do both both of them. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's work something out. Let's get you some photographers. Let's go with it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm getting guys. Listen, I'm getting I'm getting Yoshidatsu to do, to the OnlyFans soon. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. <laughs> Jesus, oh my god, imagine that. But you know, going back to Cena. All right, between <laughs> uh, and I always want to see your what what you think about this. Okay, because both men were in the same era. And and you were around that era as well. Mm. Cena and Batista, who became a better actor, in your opinion? Mm, it's hard to say because I write I like both of them. Mm. Yeah, they are my friends, so mm. it's hard to say, but I don't know. John, John is better because hmm. I watched so many John Cena's acting. Mm -hmm. That's why my brain hmm. is like a yeah, so many John Cena's in my head. You can't so, see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't I don't watch much Batista's acting, so I don't know. Uh, I mean I, I love watching superhero movies, right? Like yeah. you know, I it's it's my thing. So mm. I, I look at John Cena in Peacemaker. Yeah, Peacemaker. And and you know Peacemaker, you know, the, the, the whole thing is what made him, like, stand out in Hollywood right now. Okay? Mm. Yeah. But I hate to say it, but I gotta give it to Batista. Because yeah. Drax, yeah. like, you know, Batista as Drax, mm. it, it, if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be as funny. For Gal Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, straight up, like he yeah. carry that role. Mm. So you know, I got I got to have a different mind than you do. I got to think of Batista because you know Batista has more, and, and I've realized this too. He he's got a lot more different sort of roles, mm. and and you know, and I looked at it. I always feel like you know Batista has more depth to the character. Maybe it's yeah. because he started rough as well. He, he started a lot, a lot. I would say probably more rough than John Cena did. Mm. So you know when you have people like that, and I, I've always realized this. Like you know when when some people started a lot more rough, mm. when they become a certain character, whether it's wrestling mm. or or acting for that matter, it gives them a lot more depth into the character. The character, because you, yeah, because you mm. see, you see, they, they, you know, you see the faces. They got that struggle look on their faces. So you know, you look at their faces. You know, okay, you know what? This guy has a story. Like you know, if, if someone has been like doing it too good, too well, doesn't have any obstacles and stuff like that, and you see that on the faces as well. Mm. So you know, it it 
it's a big difference. That's why you see if, if you see some kind of rich guy just suddenly want to do acting, and we've seen it before, especially in China. And it's like, you know, you, you see that person is like coming off a rich family, never never had a tough time in their life, and suddenly, you know, they they go and become like some kind of I don't know, some kind of poor character. And you're like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. Yeah, but speaking of John Cena, moving on to mm -hmm. someone that both you and John, um, you know, saw pretty much were were the boss of you guys, and that's Vince McMahon. Mm -hmm. Um, Vince McMahon is in far deeper shit at this point uh, than than I can imagine right now. Because of because of the whole alleged incident right mm -hmm. now, I don't even know if I should call it alleged because you know there's so many documents about it. But you know, um, he sold a lot of his stocks of TKO. Mm -hmm. now yeah. He's, he, now he's not even one of the majority shareholders anymore. Yeah, I think I think he's got like nine percent of stocks left, and um. TKO has even come out and said, you know, Vince Man will not return to TKO. Yeah. The I I read the, the article. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel oh, about that? I don't know. I'm sad. I don't want he quit wrestling, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I want. Yeah. I want him uh, to keep in touch mm. to WWE. But but the problem is with this being this public. Yeah. You know, TKO has to cut ties with them no matter what. And and you know, you you, you probably never actually hung out with with Vince. But mm. You know, you saw him on more on a professional level, I would imagine. Mm. Um, do you feel mm. like at the time, like when you were, uh, when you were around Vince, mm. did you see some kind of this kind of weird behavior, or or like have you heard that kind of weird behavior of Vince McMahon? No, not at all. Just to, just we, we are scared. You scared it's of Vince? Not. Yeah. Why? Like he, like he was God. God. Mm. He, he doesn't write the match. Yeah. After the match, he gave somebody get fire. Okay. Yeah, immediately like that. So we we are scared. We are scared. Mm. Because if if I were talking to some eighties wrestlers, right? Okay, that that were working WWE or WWF at the time, those yeah. wrestlers would those wrestlers would said, "Yo, we're not afraid of him." Really? I mean, I mean, I, mean, I have even heard like from an 80s wrestler or 80s or 90s wrestlers before you know oh, yeah. and, and, and it was like you know like it's you know was Vince man like really intimidating and the answer was fuck him he wasn't he he wasn't intimidating to me oh really but, but you know once it comes to your generation right everybody yeah. were everybody were scared yeah, I think so. Our generation mostly scared him. I think. Yeah. Yeah. But, we're, but... We're, I, I was told, right? I was told before that that um, in order for Vince Man to respect you, you had to yeah, walk I... up to him and and like say your demands and like you know things like that. Like you have to stoop toe to toe to him. Yeah. Like. You know, I think there was an incident with Shelton Benjamin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, 
were there were there any situations where you know you were just like okay fuck this i'm gonna go up to fence and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go this is what this is what exactly i want to do that kind of stuff have you ever done that yeah i've done and what and what did fence do yeah just like this <laughs> But if 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 you don't do that, he will push you around, right? I think so. Yeah. Mm. So when you first started, were you being pushed around by fence a little bit, at least, you know, in some yeah, form or fashion? Ha- yeah, I had it. Okay, this Japanese got balls. Mm. That's what I had. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Because when you, I would probably say when you first got to the main shows, when you first got to the main yeah. shows, because you mm. you didn't you didn't even know that you were supposed to be on TV. Yeah. And and when when um when later on, you know, from from moving on from ECW to um, Raw. To raw, you obviously yeah. had to had to see Finns a lot more. Yeah. So my debut match was uh, in in California. Yeah. The, the three hours difference from mm-hmm. Eastern time, right? Yeah. Then my ECW match was. Uh, like right. Yeah. No man. No many people knows that fact. Mm-hmm. But that that ECW was right. Live TV. What's live right, TV? Right Mon- yeah, like Monday Night Raw. My debut match was right. On- Damn. Yeah. On because the- I, I, th- I thought most of the ECW shows were taped. Yeah, but that day was the right. So mm. the in Gorilla, yeah. uh, Billy Kidman told me, "Hey Yoshi, if you mess up, you go fire immediately." Damn. Yeah, my debut match. Mm. Uh, yeah, Shadow Ben. Yeah, with well, Sean Benjamin, but when you went to when you went to Raw, you know, obviously, yeah. you know, it would have been a lot more different than you were in ECW, right? Yeah, because it was more live and things like that. Um, yeah, but... did you get a hard time by Vince Man, like you know, when you when you got to Raw? Yeah, so that was my English problem. So I try to, yeah, promo mm. many times on the ring, but yeah. yeah. So my English level was low, and mm. especially my pronunciation. Mm. So yeah, I had uh, the idea. I challenge. I challenge against uh, the maze. Mm-hmm. U.S. title, mm. but my English is the rebel is like this. Yeah, it, the WWE want this rebel, but my yeah. rebel was is, mm. but yeah, then it got scrapped. Yeah, yeah, but I had many ideas, but mm. my English rebel. So, but I envy. Yeah, uh, now. Japanese wrestler doesn't need mm. English and yeah. WWE. So I am be. Yeah, know. because because right now Nakamura, Asuka, and like, you know, all of them, they can just scream in Japanese. Yeah, they don't speak English any English, but you like, know. like I I look at Asuka and EO Sky, right? Yeah. They're not they're not even doing promos, they're just screaming. Yeah, that's it. And they could get away with it. Yeah, I envy, you know. 
So Vince told me, if you don't speak like proper English, correct English, yeah, you won't be Monday Night Raw. Yeah, you won't be raw, like won't be top wrestler. Hmm. Vince told me, but you know the rule was changed. You know. Hmm. I always yeah. felt, I always felt when, when, say for example, in the NWA, right back in the, yeah. back in the late eighties, when Great Muda went to NWA, he had Gary Hart, you know, mm. as a manager, mm. and I think one of the issue that, and I know you always wanted to turn face, but the problem was, uh, you always want to turn heel, but yeah. <laughs> You you can okay. Just don't don't turn here. Yeah. You too much of a baby face. That, but... uh, I mean, anywhere you go, you're gonna be a baby face. All right. It's yeah, just the way it is. But... You can't. I mean, even in China, you cannot be a heel. Yeah. People pop for you even when you're in China. Think about that. Yeah. They cheer me. Mm. You know, no boo. Two shows, okay. Two shows. Different cities. Yeah. They still cheer for you. They don't boo you. Yeah, no boo. Yeah. Cheer. Yeah, and, and you thought they were, and, and you thought they were gonna boo the hell out of you, right? No, they weren't. They were cheering for you. So when I, I think two thousand I don't know, two thousand ten or two thousand eleven. Yeah. yeah. Something like that, two thousand twelve. So I went to Chinese show, international yeah. tour on yeah. high. Yeah, many fans cheer, cheer yeah. me. Yeah, like you start to chant, you know. You you still remember last June when you were in the Shanghai show? Yeah, that pop. Yeah, the four hundred people in the building, but yeah, it's it sound it sounded like at least two three thousand people were there. Yeah, so they cheer me. I, yeah, I was very happy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, that's why I, I said to you, you know, you, you told me many times you want to be a heel. And I kept telling you, you can't be a heel. You got to be a face. Yeah. You, because you're too much of a baby face. Mm. But, you know, if I, I think, okay, if back in the day, if you had a manager as your mouthpiece, you may be able to go heal with the right oh, manager. Really? I think so. Oh, uh, okay. You you I you said before you said before you asked for Paul Heyman, but they didn't give it to you. Yeah, I can be here in Japan, actually, but other com countries I can't be here. In the United States, of yeah. course, I can always babyface. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like you know, you you, I think you have you have a match coming up in Indonesia, right? I don't know, maybe. Uh, is was it end of March that you have a show in Indonesia or is it Malaysia? No, I Hawaii. It's Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, Hawaii. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, you, yeah. Forget forget about about being being a heel. Because you, you go yeah. to Singapore, you go to Singapore, you're a baby face. You go in you you, yeah. you go anywhere, like you you you're gonna be a baby face no matter what. There's just no way that 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 you're gonna be a heel. Yeah, except to Japan. <laughs> that's only for the reporters, man. Come on. <laughs> that's o that's only for the for for the Japanese media that that they want you to be healed. That's it. But you know, you're too much of a baby face look, man. Uh, I, you know, but yeah, yeah. Let let's go back to 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 Fence Man a little bit. Mm. When you heard the stories mm. of what Fence Man did, okay, what was your reaction about Vince? Yeah, about Vince. You know, in this lawsuit. Yeah. He got sued, right? Yeah. What What was your reaction to that? You know, have you read the documents? I think it's like 70-some pages of the documents. Yeah. 
I read some cool. of it, but you know, after like the fifth page, I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so Vince and the Johnny Rolling Nineties, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I know both them, both of them. So yeah. Yeah. They treat me good, so <laughs> But but did yeah. but did you expect that two of them do that to a girl? No, I don't think so. I I can't believe that. Yeah. But you know, act, actually, there are documentation that text about it, like what yeah. Vince wanted to do with that girl. Mm, I mean, I, don't get I me don't... wrong. I, I mean, you know, the text it may be just sexting. Who knows? But mm. now it's being presented as an as an evidence, and it's now a federal case, because you yeah, know, like you know, so so it is serious now. You know, it's not just you know a girl like seeking more money; it's becoming a very high level yeah. that kind of stuff. But yeah. could you see Vince McMahon would do something like that? To, to any of the girls, you know, back in the day? I don't think so. Hmm. At all. I can't believe that. And I don't want to believe that. Hmm. Because, because there's also an isolated case hmm. that a former worker... Okay, mm -hmm. we don't we don't know as in worker, is it because is, was it a former diva or was it a a former personnel in, in WWE that also got yeah. hush money from Fence? Yeah, I mean there there's a rumor of like multiple people, but we don't know for sure who it was. But uh, whoever that was got paid. Uh, I think don't quote me on it. I think it was a million dollars. Really? Yeah. Uh, so, so you know, you you just didn't sense anything like that backstage when you were in WWE. No, at all. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that face that that face tells me you're telling the truth. You're not hiding. <laughs> you're so easy to read. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I I didn't know anything, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm surprised though because you know you backstage so you backstage so much that mm. that you know you you had to have seen something. Mm. What was the craziest thing you have seen Vince do? Vince do? Yeah, crazy thing. Uh, I I don't know. I don't I don't hear anything. So now I don't believe that one. You have seen something, I'm sure. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't understand English. Oh, now now you're pulling that one. Okay. All right. What was okay? The John Laurinaitis. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people hated John John Laurinaitis. Okay. Oh, really? And and yeah. you said you said John Laurinaitis did did good to you, right? Good. Yeah. He's... What was what was the thing that that John Laurinaitis did good for you? Because like ninety nine percent of people that you probably the first guy that I have ever heard that. Johnny Ace was good. Yeah, good for me. Yeah, what did he do that that you felt he was good to you though? I don't know. Just I'm Japanese. I think he he likes Japan because he he's he's Johnny Ace for me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, he. And uh, okay, when WWE decide my name, mm -hmm. Yoshitatsu, mm -hmm. the uh, be before that, the 
when I use my real name, Yamamoto, mm-hmm. the, before I use Yoshitatsu, mm-hmm. and John told me, okay, okay, you, okay, Yamamoto, yeah, your wrestling name is like, I, my idea, I decide your last name. You decide your first name. Okay, I give you your last name, Baba. <laughs> Did you say the name Baba? Yeah, so I told him, hey, Johnny, I can't use the name Baba. When I go back to Japan after WWE, yeah. I I can't wrestle in Japan. Really? Yeah, I got a big big hit. <laughs> Imagine this, okay? Imagine this. If you're using the name Baba, right? Yeah. You so, go back to Japan. Now yeah. you now you really get to be a heel. Yeah. So hey Johnny, I'm sorry. I can't use the name Baba. I, I, I told him, ah, okay, so hey, you you <laughs> you choose the, the other name something. You pick other name something. Good thing, good thing he wasn't the booker. Yeah, if he was the booker, you been you been so dead. <laughs> mm. Because yeah. he was he he was doing some talent stuff when he was in um later years of all japan mm. he was handling some of the some of the foreign talents because mm. john baba's wife liked him and then yeah l- <laughs> and then later he and then later he left and went to wcw i think the whole idea went when you guys when you guys were going to wwe you guys had to wear suits right going to the arenas and stuff that was his idea. Oh, really? Yeah, that was his idea. Because wow. he because he thought, you know, all the wrestlers should look corporate when they when they go to arenas. Oh, okay. Because like in, in the old in the old days, you know, everyone just wear jeans and like, you know, casual gear and just like, you know, walk into the arena, right? Mm. And then once he once he got there, it started changing it. Mm. That that's after Jim Ross. Like, you know, when 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 uh when Jim Ross left Talents Relations and he he got promoted and that started to change. Oh really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Speaking of talents, let's move on to the last bit of the day because we got a couple of minutes left. Semi Zayn, okay, mm. talked about you know whether a win or loss make a wrestler recently. Mm. Now, some people, some people like Ric Flair they lost so many matches, but you know, still, mm. still mm. one of the top ever in wrestling. Yeah, yeah. But in your opinion, okay, does mm. a win loss, win or loss record make a wrestler? In your opinion. Mm. Just uh, people's popularity, yeah, makes wrestler. Yeah. So, yeah, even lose a lot, mm-hmm. like Ric Flair, but yeah. he is wrestler, right? Mm-hmm. It depends on the audience uh, popularity. I think mm. is a is wrestler's body. Mm. Mm. And uh, like much is quality. Yeah. Is about now, if now let's let's talk about match quality for a little bit. Mm. Okay, because the perception or the idea of mm. match quality to different yeah. people is mm. different. You have mm. the indie guys. That thing's yeah. that thing doing so many false finishes, 
doing so many stuff, you know, all at once in the ring. Get your shit in. It's it's like big matches, right? But yeah, there are also some that that you know that just simply want to tell the story in the ring. Doesn't you know? Doesn't really have to, um, you know, have so many moves involved. And and it's about doing the right moves at the right time. You know, the so called art of wrestling, right? What do you think that makes a good match? So, wrestler's skill and the like atmosphere mm -hmm. or the audience mm. and the well, a second, how should I say English? Like, uh, uh like a com. Compatibility. Mm. Compatibility. Compatibility. Mm. And yeah, audience, atmosphere, like everything. Mm. Everything. And the wrestler's skill and timing, mm. everything. Everything like this, mm -hmm. good match. Mm. Even if Exactly same move, exactly same like matches structure, same move. Mm -hmm. If like matches atmosphere, like uh, like audience number is mm -hmm. different, mm -hmm. I don't think good match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything like this, mm -hmm. good match. That's why good match is very difficult. So if you have to pick. If you have to pick mm. top three matches that you have ever seen, that you have ever watched in wrestling, what would have been the top three matches? I don't know. My my memory are much. Yeah. Um, okay, like a... Doesn't, doesn't have to be your match, but like all the matches that you have seen. Uh, okay, it's a... This is a... Like a trigger of yeah. my, I want to be the wrestler. The mm -hmm. match is a great motor against Hiroshi Hase. The one where he Japan. beat beat uh, Hase to 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 a point where he was bleeding half face. Yeah, yeah, I remember like, that match. Uh, Yeah, you are such a mark. I told you, I'm a big time New Japan mark, I, especially the 80s and 90s, man. Like, I, I know a lot of stuff, you know. That's why I'm your favorite mark. Yeah, you are my favorite mark. So, and you're I think my favorite that... son. There you go. <laughs> I think that match was 1991, I think. Yeah. And uh, and in WrestleMania, mm -hmm. uh, Undertaker against Shawn Michaels. Mm. Which mm. one? Because there were two. I don't. I don't remember the Shawn Michaels retirement match or or the one before. I think both both was good, right? Okay. You, you Any other so, ones? Right? Any other ones? Uh, your stats against Chris Jericho <laughs> or your stats against Christian ah it's the double title yeah I remember that match in that was New a good Arc. match that was that was a good match yeah I think New York 2009 I think yeah Yeah, New York, I think New York or somewhere. Uh, October 26th, something, mm. I remember. That, that was a good match, right? Mm. That was a good match, yeah? Yeah. Speaking of ECW, the last bit of segment, remember before we went on hiatus, 
you were you were doing the fantasy ECW because you want to bring back ECW, right? Yeah. So so for so for this particular part, which one do you want to bring back for your new ECW? Okay, I want to do like uh, I want to make team. Hmm. It was 2009, 2010. Okay. Like uh, Tommy Dreamer, Goldust, Christian, and me. Hmm. And, and Hurricane. Like that. Like forming a stable? No. Uh, just, just a team. Team up. Just just team up, okay. Who are going to be the opponents? Of course, Shelton Benjamin, mm -hmm. Zack Ryder, where uh, William Regal. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I was... Speaking of ECW, there yeah. there is a segment that you have done before we went on hiatus which is your fantasy ecw yeah so every single episode you talk about one particular wrestler mm -hmm. that that you want to bring it bring him back or bring her back into uh into the show okay so yeah. who was it going to be this week mm. for me dreamer mm. One of the originals, too. One of the originals yeah. that left. That left within the final days of the Vince McMahon version of EZW. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I think it was him, RVD, and Sabu was already gone by then, I think. But yeah, um, but yeah why, why Tommy Dreamer? Yeah, because when I go up to... Like a roster, the mm -hmm. like a the WWE, the, yeah. from the main roster, F yeah, uh, yeah, from FCW. Mm -hmm. Then when I debut on TV, like a main roster of ECW, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the Tommy Dreamer uh, to kill me, like like my da daddy. You got so many daddies, man. I swear to God. I have, I have so many daddies. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tommy, yeah, Tommy explained the rules of TV. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like main roster on TV. Something, something. Yeah. He's like teacher. He He's was like also working at the as the right hand man of John Laurinaitis too, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, he's a very nice person. I like him. He he is always nice to everybody. I I have not heard of a bad thing that that anyone really said about Tommy Dreamer. Like yeah. you know, even to fans, he was great. Like you know, I met him at least twice. Mm. And you know he was the last guy. He, that's what he said to us, that he was mm. the last guy out of the building because you know I was this, I was this little fan just waiting outside the arena trying to get autographs from wrestlers and stuff. And yeah. you know he walked out, and you know he signed, and you know we asked him and go, you know if there's any wrestlers still inside the building inside the arena. He was like, no, no, I'm the only one left. Don't wait! Don't wait for anybody. It was like by that time it was like midnight or something. And and he was like, "Don't wait! Any, don't wait any longer! I'm the last guy! In, uh, I'm the last guy leaving the building." Because like by that time the truck was already gone. Mm. And and he was he was just like, you know, he was like, I think there were like twenty fans there, twenty thirty fans there still, and you know he would sign everyone's autograph. Wow. Easy. Yeah, and just like, yeah, you know, just don't wait here anymore, you know, just go, you know, in a very nice way, you know. 
Like, mm. you know, you see some wrestlers, and luckily I have not seen many wrestlers that were dicks mm. to, to fans. But, you know, him in, in particular, he was, he was tremendous. Yeah. yeah. But um, other than, you know, mentoring you, you know, backstage... Mm -hmm. Were there any like role stories and stuff like that between you and Tommy Dreamer? Yeah. So my mentor or backstage. Uh Riker. Right, yeah. Same as Tommy Dreamer. Um, the number one is I think Gordak. Okay. Yeah, Gordak. Which you talked extensively about. Yeah, I will talk about Gordas next time. Yeah. So Goldust. No, I already talked about Goldust. Yeah, you already I... talked about Goldust. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said you talked about him extensively. Yeah. I yeah. already talked. Yeah, that's and why so... I said you got any any role stories of you know with you and Tommy Dreamer. Yeah. So yeah. Goldust, Christian, Tommy Dreamer. My mentor, I think. Yeah, but are there any stories between you and Tommy Dreamer? Like, you know, uh, how he helped you and stuff. I I don't remember, but I think my debut was Baker's Field. Yeah. In California. Uh yeah. June's June 30th, 2009. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I fought my gear yeah. at at the arena. Okay, I think I think deb debut day. Yeah, I forgot my as the arena, but Tommy, you always forget about your gear. You still have not found your old gear, even even you <laughs> at home. Yeah, when are you gonna find them? For crying out loud! Good lord, I've been asking for. Okay, for the audience that that are new, okay, I've been asking this guy about his gear. So I can yeah. actually buy it off him. And it's like, it's been what? I'm, a year and I, a half now, almost. I'm still looking for my gear. Where did you, where did you put them? Did you bury them somewhere? I, like, uh, my God, but, man. I, but I didn't throw. So I, I will find. It's okay. Anyway, so I think my debut day, I fought my gear at the arena. Then next day, Tommy brought me my fought on gear from the last arena. So then I talked, I talked him first time. Mm -hmm. Hey, you start you forward your gear. Then the gear is like a restaurant, I don't know, restaurant's life, something like that. Yeah, no shit. You know? How do you do that? Yeah, so don't forget your gear at the arena. He told me, then, yeah, he teaches me, he taught me a lot of things. You know what I mean? Right, you, 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 you know, you know what will happen if you forgot your gear in the arena and I was there. Yeah. I'll be oh, like, yeah. yeah, new collection, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think he, yeah, brought me my gear from the last arena, but I, I'm not sure. I forgot my debut day or next next day or I, I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was very nice to me, and he bought me free, you know, free cheese steak, you know, free cheese, cheese, cheese steak. steak. Yeah. yeah, yeah, He bought me some, some airport. He, uh, of course, free, yeah. free, yeah. He Which is me. where WrestleMania is going to be this year? I don't remember. Yeah, this year's WrestleMania is going to be in Philly. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so... But... 
I I don't think I don't think WrestleMania because I debuted June thirtieth. Mm-hmm. So I think I don't think so. But yeah, yeah, somewhere he bought me. Then he taught me about the free cheese steak. Yeah. Uh, yeah, na- name too. You, I, you know I, what? I, you know what? That's a funny thing. I have not. Yeah. I have not seen a place in Japan where yeah. they do Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Yeah. So I have not seen one. Yeah, he didn't say sandwich. Just yeah. he told me Philly cheesesteak. Mm. Then I asked. I remember I asked him why this is steak. This is mm. this is not steak. This is like a bread. Yeah, uh, like sandwich, like yeah. bread. Why you you say this is steak, but he told me, "Hey, this is pretty cheese, cheese steak." That this is the name he he mm. he taught me. Yeah, I remember. He's my teacher. Im- imagine, imagine the the wagyu beef from Gifu turning into. Philly cheesesteak sandwich. That can I be... sell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, new if business I... idea for you. <laughs> yeah. Cheesesteak, I sell cheesesteak in Gifu. Using Gifu Wagyu beef. Wow. Yeah. That, that can be an interesting idea. But... Geek Wagyu beef is very expensive. The name is Hiragyu. It's, man, do you want to talk about expensive Wagyu in Japan? Yeah. Think about importing them. Importing them expensive. Why do you think, like, okay, you know, you want to talk about Wagyu beef now. Okay. My, my wife and I, because yeah. they're, Remember the oyster spot that we went to? Yeah, in Tokyo, right? Yeah, yeah, near, near Korakun, right? Yeah. Right next to it, there is a uh, Wagyu beef uh, place. Okay. And one day, one day, I was uh, I wanted to take my wife to to the oyster place, but she didn't like the oyster over there so much, and okay. we had to we we had to wait. So she was like, "I want to go with the Wagyu beef," you know. Happy wife, happy life, right? So I went, right? And yeah. and there was a um I forgot which TV station it was. So, you know, they were filming some stuff. Hmm. And we went in there and we just like, you know, we we ordered the platter and we started eating and stuff like that. And like they were filming us. Like they were filming me like flipping the steak, right? And stuff like that. Yeah. And and we were just eating it. So, oh my god, it's so good. We were like this. Uh, we're like that, right? So, you know, I don't know if they caught my face or whatever, but you know, it was just it, it was just like and, and it's cheap, like to us. Like, really? As a tourist coming in, damn man, it's cheap. Really? Yeah. It's cheap. If you if you are eating wagyu beef outside of Japan, mm. probably five times, six times the money. Really? Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. And you want to talk about be- wagyu beef being expensive in Japan? Are you crazy? Yeah, in Japan, expensive too. That that's why I was that's why I was telling you the other day, like you know, if I'm coming over to Gifu. I'm I'm coming yeah. for the wagyu. Okay, yeah, that's it. Mm. Yeah, we 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 gotta figure that one out somehow. Because mm. man, you know the wagyu wagyu and givu. Ooh, that that's gotta be interesting. All right, that's all, folks. Thank you very much okay. for Yoshi Unleashed. Yoshi, take us home. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> what? Take us home. You always got something to say towards the end. What is it this time? Right? Okay. Thank you for 
Thank you for watching Yoshi Unleashed. See you next time. Bye bye.